This is my 1953 Cessna 170. Uh, we've named it Beige Betty, and uh, this has been kind of the culmination of my dream of flying. I always wanted to be a pilot since I was a young kid. I got my license before coming out as transgender. I had a concern initially about whether or not I'd be able to continue flying. I knew that the FAA medical system could be a challenge. It wasn't until I met a few other transgender pilots that I was able to you know, find out that this was still something that was achievable for me. So now I use my airplane to show other LGBTQ folk that you don't have to give up on your dreams of flying just to be your authentic self. So I volunteer for an organization called Elevated Access to fly people who are seeking either gender affirmative care or reproductive services we get them out of states where they are unable to receive those services and we will fly them to states such as Washington State that can provide those services. I just hope to empower other people who may be questioning their identity and or want to fly. This ultrasound picture means everything to me because we've been on a very long journey to decide to become first-time mothers and when I saw this picture for the very first time I couldn't believe it. The advice I would give same-sex couples is to get informed as early as possible about the options, about the support, but also about the mental journey you're going on. For us it has been a two-year journey and uh, we're super excited for little Jacob to arrive. On the other hand, I am worried that he's not gonna have an easy childhood or he's gonna have questions that he doesn't know how to answer. When Jacob looks back at this video in 20 years, I want him to be proud and I want him to know that we took a lot of courage to go this way. But I also want him to know that we love him however he is going to be. My object here is a picture of my childhood hero and inspiration, Kalpana Chala. She was the first female astronaut to go in space from India. Growing up in India, in a conservative society was a challenge. I followed her footsteps uh, by leaving India, going to the same school she went, University of Colorado, pursued a master's in aerospace engineering just like her. And that was a way for me to get away from a restricted environment to uh, live my life to fullest. I want to inspire all the LGBTQ kids out there who aspire to be somebody uh, who can make a difference in this world. It's easy to feel pressured and corralled by your environment, by society around you. Don't let that discourage you from following your dreams.